Well hi there, welcome to Paint and Zoo. My name's Matt and I'm joined today by Elvina who's one of our Lima Wardens here at Paynton. And we're also joined as well by Karindi, right, who's one yeah. of our amazing ring-tailed lemurs and I think you can guess which animals we've come to talk to today. Now Elvina, how many ring-tails have we got here? So Paynton? we have nine ring-tailed lemurs and they're all boys. Okay, so Karindi's you said was the cheekiest yeah. here, but can you tell them all apart? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I cannot tell them apart. So, so how do you know this is Karindi? So Karindi is quite distinctive. He's got a little scar on his okay. nose. Uh, he's also very skinny and okay. he has very flat little ears. He's very okay. cute. <laughs> right, okay. And then with the other lemurs, they have other distinguishing marks or yeah. something about yeah. them. Yeah, okay. so Darcy's very dark bird, okay. uh, very handsome. Right, okay. <laughs> And he does look like a particularly forehead. handsome Yeah, he lemur. is a very handsome boy, Darcy. Okay, now I, I know they've come down to see you today, partly because you look after them <laughs> regularly, but also because you've got something to feed them. Yeah. Uh, what are you feeding them at the minute? Uh, so this is just leaf eater pellet. Uh, so leaf eater pellet, yeah, like, so, so it's a pellet similar to something that people would feed their Guinea pigs their or rabbits home, or dog, you know, dried food, food and it's got the right vitamins and minerals to keep them nice and healthy. Okay. And what else would you feed them in a day? So we give them this in the morning, this is their breakfast and then uh, we give them leafy greens at um, kind of around lunchtime, so it might be lettuce, cabbage, um, okay. that sort of thing. And then the afternoon, their favourite meal, uh, right. which is um, vegetables. So their favourite food is sweet corn that we give them. Uh, right. Beetroot's also a top favourite, so the sweeter the better. Because okay, so sweet vegetables yeah. would, be would be the top, their what they love here. that we give them. <laughs> okay, and if visitors are looking at our ringtail lemurs, so look, can you give some tips maybe is there something that they could be looking out for when when they're here when they're I mean they're amazing animals to watch I think they're brilliant but is there anything particular to look out for? A uh, really nice behaviour to watch is well they've got two really good ones so the first one is their grooming because you'll notice that they groom with their bottom teeth right okay and that's because they have a tooth comb um, at the bottom so their bottom row of teeth here right, is shaped okay. like a very fine comb okay and they groom each other with their bottom teeth and right. then they have a second tongue right. underneath okay. their first tongue, okay. which they use like a toothbrush to push any hair and bits out of that tooth comb. <laughs> oh, okay, so they will actually, if, if visitors are watching, they may well be using this bottom special yeah, tooth yeah. to groom another lemur. And the other thing to look out for is when it's nice and sunny, you will see them uh, sat on their sat, so their backs are upright, and okay. they'll be have their arms outwards, right, like okay. they're meditating, facing yeah, the sunshine. Look like a yoga pose, yeah. yeah, and they call that sun worshiping right, because okay. it does look like they're worshiping the sun. Okay. Now you, were, as a big fan of the film Madagascar, you have uh, alarmed me by telling me <laughs> that it's not entirely accurate when it comes to lemur behaviour. So. Um, Females are actually the dominance in um, ring-tailed lemur society, so it shouldn't have been a King Julian, it should so, have been a queen. Oh, okay, so in a troop of lemurs, the females, the ring-tails, the females will be dominant and all the males are below them. Yeah, so the females are always the dominant ones, there will obviously be hierarchies within the females and within the males themselves, okay. but yeah, the females have the... Have the Okay, <laughs> so complex social structure. Okay, right. Now then, uh, sadly, I know that lemurs, a lot of lemurs are endangered, but I've been just doing a bit of reading about ringtails, and it does sound like the situation for them in Madagascar is not good. I know there's been a lot of political problems, and at the moment there's a big drought in southern Madagascar where these are found, which has been caused by, well, they think by climate change. And that's really affecting them in the, in the wild, right? Yeah, definitely. Some of the scientists have talked about finding them like being unable to find them in sites where they were before okay, and like big declines in the last few years. I think, is, is it right, there's something like two and a half thousand of these in the wild? Yeah, yeah, so not that many at all really. <laughs> okay, I mean this is like a flagship animal that we most people are familiar with and we talk a lot about and, and how special they are but in the wild it's actually really going wrong for them. Yeah, definitely. So um, a big problem is deforestation um, taking away um, their natural habitat yeah, and it's okay. also that um, natural habitat remaining is um, becoming extremely fragmented. Okay. Uh, so, so there's the no forest way to get where from one to the other. Cut down. I mean, I know, I know they live in an unusual forest, quite dry and spiny, yeah. but the forest being cut down uh, smaller smaller patches and also people hunt them. Right now Elvina, don't tell the other animals here at the zoo but ringtails are possibly my favourite animal here. Okay, but can you tell me one more thing about them that will make me fall even more in love with them than I already am? So there's lovely stripy tail, tails of theirs. Uh, they use um, a lot for balance but also for communication. They so, can't grip with them, can they? they no, can't. so they can't grip with them but they can use them upright to make sure that they stay on top of the branches. Okay, which. On. 
somebody is demonstrating <laughs> really well. Now, thank you very much, Elvina, for talking to us today and taking the time out. And I hope you get to come and see our amazing ring-tailed lemurs here at Paint and Zoo soon. Cheers.